Hello, Cancer, and this is your July 2014. Oh my gosh, so 2014. Let's see what is in the stars for you. And we will get that going. So I'll be giving you a couple of information throughout this card reading, what you can meditate on Cancer. Let's see. All right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles, and I call it the Queen of Coins in my tarot deck coming out soon. I'm so excited. So I'm trying to get that glare um, from the sunlight off, but you know, it looks nicely shining on the, on the coin right there. It actually works well. So the Queen of Coins, this energy, this is a woman that's very smart. She knows how to make her money work uh, for her. So whatever it is that you have no matter what your status is in life you are in control of what you're doing or you you as for cancer you're learning how to be more in control if you're not okay but you're very um we know you're very compassionate for others however this is where you are using the efforts of your money for yourself so if you need to pull back a little bit maybe a little vacation um maybe even spending your money hiring someone to do something. I know we're in a holiday here in the States. Uh, so at the beginning of July. So, we're, you know, even if you have to uh, cater some stuff, you know, do that so you can kind of chill a little bit. So this is you looking at your money and how best to make it work for you. And I remember a couple months ago, I pulled for a uh, general reading for, for cancer and it was like, um, really thinking about yourself instead of overdoing for others. So you're you're now you're kind of getting tired of it, or, and you know for some of you you might linger a little bit longer. Some of you you might drop it, you know. So right away, any kind of uh, uh, energy draining activities. So this is for Cancer Sun sign, which is your your Cancer you're born under that zodiac sign that month in the year, and also for the rising sign of Cancer. And uh, if you know what your rising sign is, great. You know what your sun sign is, great. Watch the other videos because it will give you a little bit more information as well. And uh, like I always say, nothing's like a personal reading. So definitely contact me for your own personal reading. Um, I'll be happy to do that. Uh, another information I'd like to give to you is the full moon. Uh, because I strongly believe in meditation for yourself, for your own healing. So July 12th is a full moon in Capricorn. And it's all about setting boundaries and self-respect. So this is an earth sign. And as a water sign, you get along very well with earth signs. And of course, we know all the other signs uh, that make you up to who you are really helps out with the personality uh, in general. So what you want to do with the full moon in Capricorn on July 12th is get into your meditative state, a quiet time every day, and just meditate on setting your boundaries, maybe just having that record, okay, with yourself every morning. Maybe even if, say you, you, you're really bad at meditating, record yourself on your iPad or whatever you have, Samsung, whatever, you know, little recorder that they sold before all of those things came out, whatever. Record your agreement to yourself in regards to setting boundaries and self-respect. You know, um, finding a structure, grounding yourself more, uh, focusing more on you. It's not selfish. Um, it is just something nurturing that you need because if you're a cancer that gives a lot, this is for you to replenish yourself, to just, just be solid, just be whole again, okay? And there's a new moon on the 26th in Cancer. Whoop, whoop, your sign in Cancer. So this is a new moon time, which is great to draw things towards you. So this is your time to fill yourself with compassion and Compassion for yourself. If you feel you need more compassion for someone else, then fine, meditate on that. But I really feel the compassion for yourself first, even if you need to um, kind of, you know, meditate on having compassion for others as well. Start off with compassion for yourself and then meditate on compassion for others in that same uh, sit down uh, with yourself. So this new moon on the 26th, once again, uh, this July, 
2014 is in Cancer, your sign. This is a great time. Whenever the moon is in your sign, it's a great time to invest in anything that goes with the energy of your sign. So what are the, the emotions, the characteristics of your sign? You can own in on that energy to help you uh, throughout the next couple of weeks before the next uh, uh, full moon or new moon, what have you, okay? I hope this helps. Nothing is like your own personal reading, so definitely contact me. I will be happy to do your reading. You can check out uh, my website. I think it's tarot.cheesekey.com. And uh, yes, if you're in the Vegas area, definitely uh, contact me. I have workshops and on uh, meditation, yoga, all of that. And it's all connected. So feel free to contact me. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful July. Be safe. And I'll see you guys next month.